At the end of episode 5, we receive the call and we are headed up to AAA Oklahoma City. Take a look at our final AA stats. We finished with like a, t a 1200 OPS or something ridiculous like that. Anyway, we got 600-ish skill points, so we're going to put all those into our contact ratings. And we are ready to go for our AAA debut. We're playing for, I believe, the Oklahoma City Redhawks is their team, although I'm not 100% sure. Nonetheless, making our AAA debut tonight in Oklahoma City in front of the home fans, and hopefully we can put on a show. You can see we're slotted in that four spot in the lineup once again, just like we were in AA. So we'll see if we can produce some runs just like we did in double A. Runners on first and second chance early on in the game. We take this one into deep right center field. That one's going to get down. One hop up, up off against the fence. One run has already come around and scored. The other one is coming too. Goodman will halt at second base and it's a two RBI double. A good start for Goodman in his triple A debut. Beautiful piece of hitting. A little bit nervous heading up the AAA. You're going to see some better pitching. Want to avoid an early slump or anything like that. So, nonetheless, 4-1 to one is the score. We got a chance at a fielding play here in the eighth inning. Tag the runner for one, but we end up actually canceling the throw with the stupid little throw canceling thing that I forgot to turn off. So, instead of getting out of the inning, some runs are coming around. Tie game, and actually Omaha takes the lead, and they end up winning the game because of our, I guess you can call it an error there. We could have turned that double play, gotten out of the inning, but instead the Storm Chasers win 5-4. to four. We had a nice double, but definitely a disappointing way to uh, begin our AAA, I guess, career in the field at least. But next game, we end up going 0-4, for 4, so we're actually only 1-4 for our first 8 so far. Not the best start for Saul Goodman. Bottom of the second inning, we're once again facing Omaha, and we're going to take this one to left field for a base hit. Nice little use of the opposite field. They're getting a slap single into left field. And Goodman just trying to hit for some contact at this point. Like I said, I'm not going to go for all the big power numbers at all. I just want to get a nice start, get acclimated to the AAA pitching and all that good stuff. We line this one a deep left center field, and that's almost got it. It's actually going to be a diving miss right there by the center fielder. That's going to roll all the way to the wall. We're trying to go for 30. We're actually going to hold up. Smart idea. Don't want to make a mistake on the base running pass or whatever in the you know early stages. Like I said, we're just trying to play conservative here. You know, do our thing, not try to do too much, not press at all. And we actually get it our third hit of this game, so it's our first multi-hit game at AAA. It's a three-hit game. Even though that was kind of a weak single still, we will take it. And we end up going three for five, a double, and a pair of singles. So a good start so far. We're playing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how we've done. But this is where the struggles would start to begin. You're going to see strike three looking right there. We just got froze on that slider. Like I said, with the combined adding or I guess bumping of the difficulty plus moving up to AAA, we're going to see a lot more balls. We're going to have to work counts. There I was looking for a walk, but it was the wrong idea. So we're in the next series. This time we're playing the Memphis Redbirds, I believe, is their name. It's the Cardinals AAA team, if I remember correctly. And you can see we're just going to roll this one over. This A lot of this was happening. It was a lot of rolling over pitches in front of the mound, rolling over pitchers to second base, popping ones up deep, getting under balls. And you can see another over. So the struggles are beginning to set in. And this is not good. This is not what we want. We're hitting just 182 so far. We do have three RBI, but no home runs yet. The power hasn't been there. Well, so we're going to have to turn it around. Down by two to Memphis. The team is not doing any better. And you can see in the field, things are not getting any better. As we cannot range to our left to make the player there. That would have been a nice out. But we are showing no range at all. You can see we only get one hit this game. It was a little bit of a you know slap single or whatever. Figured it wasn't worth showing. Wasn't all that impressive. And you know now we're hitting 192. We have a 192 OBP. We're 1 for 8 this series. That is not good. So you can see down 3 nothing once again. The team not doing any better. And we try to make this play. But it goes under our glove. So not only are we not hitting the ball. But we're also not fielding. Runner's going to come around and score, and that's another run that we cost our team right there. Goodman struggling out of the gate. Bottom six, can we get something going at the plate here? Goodman takes that to left center field. That's actually going to get down for a base hit. It rolls past the shortstop and into center field, so at least we get on base. That's what we're trying to do right now. No one on. you got to get on base in those type of situations. Not worry about hitting home runs or anything like that. So we do a good job. Take a look at the replay. We take the one the other way. Good use of the entire field right there. Seeing it was an outside pitch and going the other way with it. So Goodman still, you can see the hitting ability is there. You can see that he does have, you know, or he's a really smart hitter. He knows what he's doing with the bat. He's just struggling out of the gate. One for four again. The average, once again, it's right around in the same 170, 180 area. It's just not up there yet. Next game. And we just strike out. We whiff on that changeup. Runner on second. Good run scoring opportunity. That's what we got to do with the four, out of the four hole. 
We actually strike out twice in this game. Another 0 for. We looked foolish on that changeup right there. So getting into the next series, we're going to go up against Omaha once again. A little home-and-home -home action. This time we're going to Omaha. And we're going to face, I believe that's the Royals AAA affiliate. You can see the Red Hawks five games back right now. So doing all right. But check this out. Two for 16 in our last four games. 125. We're hitting 176 on the season. And we have got to get things going. So runner on second. Chance to drive in a run. Maybe we take this one to deep left center field. That one is back. And that's going to be caught on the warning track. So it seemed like whenever we got into a pitch, whenever we started the groove pitches, we always were under them. And I'm not sure... If that was just me over anxious, me trying to protect the bottom of the strike zone and getting under pitches like that. But they were able to take them onto right field. We get a base hit. Again, all of our base hits at this point are just kind of soft singles that find holes in the infield. Nothing really too impressive. But this is pretty cool right here. We actually get on the top of the ninth inning. And we end up coming around to score here on a single. So we become the go-ahead run. And that run is the difference in the game. We win one to nothing. But you can see our manager is still not happy with us. This must be the fourth or fifth straight game he's gotten. Very upset at us in the dugout after the ball game. But still, at least we were able to contribute to a win that time around. So 0-0 the score. Once again, another pitching duel here in the uh, sixth inning of this game. And this time we get a hard hit ball into center field. Another single. Like I said, the power is not there. But if we can hit balls hard like that, then I'm not concerned. If we're squaring the ball up, we're getting the ball into the outfield, then I'm not concerned about it at all. So that's a four-pitch AB. We pick up a single. Again, another one for four. Not too strong. But, you know... I was impressed. I was I was excited about the way we hit the ball that game, to say the least. So top of the fifth, another pitcher's duel. one nothing is the score, and now we're hitting it to left center field. So we're starting to square the ball up a little bit. It's coming in short spurts. You're not seeing it consistently, but you're finally starting to show. You're trying to see that hitting ability. So here we go, top of the ninth, and Saul Goodman to deep right center field, and that one is gone. A go ahead two run home run. And Saul breaks through for his first career AAA homer. It comes at a big spot. The Red Hawks take a 2-1 lead. And believe it or not, guys, that is not the better call Saul moment of the episode. That is coming up, and you guys will enjoy that one, I'm sure. So a two-run shot. Finally seeing something out of Saul. Was really excited about this. We just turned on that one, took it to right field, and put that one over the fence. And it was a big hit, too. That was what was big about it. We're trying to win our teammates over. A big at-bat like that, that can do just the job. And you can see we get back in the dugout. And as always, with the first home run, you're going to get a little bit of uh, joshing from your teammates, so to say. So we end up getting the silent streamer for a little bit there. But you can see Max Stacy or Stassi, among others, greeting Saul Goodman. And he's actually going to end up getting the player of the game. Two hits in the game, including, like I said, that big two-run go-ahead home run, as you'll see on the replay play here he was pimping this one to say the least as you're going to see on the replay big follow through and then watch it in one moment you can see he's going to take his time getting out of the box flip the bat right in front of home plate look at that that lands right on home plate you know the catcher's not happy about that so two for four on the day and i was like i said very excited with that so later we're going to get into a fielding uh drill or whatever and this did not go well you've seen the manager's frustrations with us in the past and after this drill it looks like things began to boil over on the practice field you can check out the manager right now getting into saul's face saul not known for the glove really known more for the bat but he should be a steady glove you know third base is not exactly like playing shortstop or center field so he should be steady with the glove but things just seem to boil over at this point don't know what they're pointing at, but clearly things are getting heated in between both Saul Goodman and the manager. So this is not good. You do not want to see this out of a new player and his new manager. You can see Goodman just starting to walk away at this point, and we actually fail that training session, getting no points. I really screwed that one up. But now it is time for the Better Call Saul moment of the episode. 3-3 three to three to score. Bottom of the 11th, one man on, two men out, the first pitch to Goodman. And that ball at high and deep, left field, that one's back, and it is is gone and i don't know why the game froze right there when that happened but i actually got really nervous i thought the game froze right on my first career walk off homer but opposite field a two-run shot and goodman walks it off for the oklahoma city red hawks that's going to give them a five to three victory the second game now we're really the third game where we've contributed to the game winning run and you can see goodman greeted at the plate by his teammates may not have won his manager over but he certainly seems to be winning his teammates over at this point. A couple big home runs, and he contributes to a 5-3 victory in the 11th. So good signs for Goodman at, the, at this point. He's turning it around. He gets the player of the game. Actually went 2-6 for six that game. I believe we had a single at some point. So it was nothing spectacular, but still two hits in a game. Nothing to, uh, I guess, sneeze at or sneeze about, as I said in one of my previous videos. And that's... People thought that was pretty funny. I say a lot of really like funny and stupid things in my commentary sometimes, especially when I do these like casual ones, like go to the show videos, very laid back. 
uh, you know, not like the, uh, kind of like the, I guess, I don't know, association stuff or whatever. But nonetheless, you can see we got the average up to 218. OPS creeping up towards the 600 line, so we're doing a little bit better. Still in this series against, I believe this is not St. Louis, but some SL team. I actually have no idea. Um, but we take the one to center field for a base hit, so Goodman getting around on the ball. Gets that one back up the middle and starting to finally turn it around at the plate. Later in the game, base is loaded, 3-1 count. We're going to take this one to left field for a base hit. One run is home, and another one will come around, and that's a 2-RBI single. That was a 3-0 count. I took ball 3, or I took strike 1, I should say. Was looking for a walk the entire time, but ended up swinging away on 3-1 and one and got a 2-RBI base hit out of it. So we go 2-4, I believe, for this game, it looks like. We do end up with the win, 2-RBI. We contribute heavily in that one. A couple of singles. One of them driving in a pair of rubies, and that is going to win us that ball game. So I believe that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, you're going to see we have a couple more stat updates. We go one for four in our next game, and then the game after that, 0 for four. So slowing down a little bit at the end, but I was very excited with how we ended off this episode hitting-wise. And that's going to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And it was just Matt. Peace.